What's happening, family? How y'all doing today? My name is Anthony Parker. It is Monday, June, January 30th. I should know that, because yesterday was my birthday. I guess I'm too hangover. Too hangover? Too hangover. Too hangover. It doesn't matter. Uh, welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind of feeling good and made another year. Man, I'm getting on up there in age, y'all, for real, for real. But anyway, we're going to talk about rebound relationships. Is there love in relationships such as this? I'm going to offer you a few tips, talk about the reasons why people get into a, re a rebound relationship. I don't like them, but anyway, before I do that, before I do that, look, if this is your first time, I almost forgot what the hell I was about to say. Is that old age? If this is your first time, Make sure to hit the notification bell. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like, share, and tell a friend. Comment. I need you all to comment. I need you all to hit that like button for me. Please, if y'all do anything else in y'all's life, hit the like button for me. Anyway, again, we're going to talk about relationships, rebound relationships. Um, I am familiar with uh, re rebound relationship. As a matter of fact, when I was a young buck, I uh, call myself getting into a uh, uh, rebound or catching a chick on a rebound or I was in a rebound, put it like that. We both were in a rebound, but more specifically, I'm going to talk about myself. I don't really like rebound relationships for, for real. And um, I don't really think that there, matter of fact, I don't think that there is any love in any rebound relationships, hence the name rebound. You're catching somebody on, the, on, on your rebound, you're feeling like you're hurt so you just got to get with the next person got to get you out of my mind um yeah i don't i don't believe in uh getting into re re a rebound relationships because first of all man and i'm gonna just i'm gonna be brief uh i'm gonna just talk a little bit about if there's love and re rebound relationships i really i strongly feel that 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 um there's no uh there's no love there's no love and in speak, speaking about love, many people get into relationships, first of all, for the wrong reasons for it may be the fact that they have an unplanned pregnancy. Um, there's uh, instances, instances where they just want to leave out their parents' house because she ain't treat me right or he acting, he acting up with them. So I'm about to move with my man. I'm about to move with my, my, my girl. You know, we're going to try to see if we can make this work. And you're not really ready. Instability, uh, you know, security. Um, things of that nature. And those are the wrong reasons. Now, like I said, I don't profess to be a relationship specialist, but I'm just giving you my experience in terms of what I went through. Now, people who get into rebound relationships, they don't allow themselves a chance to heal. And what by that I mean you, you gotta, you know, get over your 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 past relationship if you if you you know if you can. Because there's some people who just say, man, look, I'm just about to take my life because I can't deal with this. But uh, jumping from one relationship to another is not healthy because you're not allowing yourself to heal. You're not allowing yourself to to, to um, look at yourself and see if there may be some things that I could have done better. Or if it's if it's you that's causing yourself to uh, get out of the, get in, get in, in and out of these relationships, look at yourself and see, well, maybe what I can do wrong. Because what happens is... You're transferring that baggage from one person. And I know you've heard this several times. You're transferring that baggage from one person to the next. You know what I'm saying? And then with that, you, you're going to compare that individual. And that's what I did. When I when I was in my, uh, uh, I was on a rebound. This chick left me, man. I, long story. But anyway, I just, you know, I ain't had to. But I just like, man, I was staying by myself. I just wanted to get involved, blah, blah, blah. So I got on the chat line and found this individual. And, it, you know, she wasn't my type. It just affected I don't want to be lonely. So, I, you know, I moved her in and I ended up started comparing her to, to that, to my ex. And matter of fact, I called her my ex's name several times. And once you started, you know, start doing that, you, you're comparing. Then everything that person does, she don't cook like that person. She don't smell like that person. She don't sex like that person. You start to compare and that creates a great deal of, 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 of problems. Because as I mentioned, you're never supposed to take which, you know, what your ex uh, did in, in, in the previous relationship, take it to the next. But anyway, I was on a rebound, so I don't, that wasn't, that wasn't gonna work out any, anywhere because when I thought that the, the girl was gonna come back, 
I end up kicking her to the curb. I paid for it because she ended up stealing my stuff. It's a long story, but anyway, uh, yeah. For people who get on, uh, on um, in these rebound relationships, I, to me, it just feels like there's something within yourself that you are not satisfied with. You want to be, you know, belong, and, that, and that's that's what I mentioned earlier in terms of people getting into these uh, relationships for the wrong reason. You know, saying, so, and then not only that, especially if you have kids, I strongly don't think that this is a good idea because you have to develop that trust with that individual before you introduce that person to your kids you have to set up a, 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 some boundaries first of all you know you don't just bring that kid in when you meet that person for the first time because there's so many sexual predators out there and so many so many murderers child molest i mean just so much shit that's going on and you don't want to, to uh involve your child in that situation so definitely man don't don't do these rebound relationships because especially if you have kids like i said you have to allow yourself to grow you have to allow yourself some space to know what's better, what's best for you, to know, to, to sort of work on your own dealings. If it's you that's causing the problem, or if, if it's that person, then back away. Allow yourself time. Spend time, time with your kids. Go on a vacation. Find out about you. Get into some groups. You know, say, don't just jump in one relationship to the next. You know, that's just, that's just, that's just like, to me, that's just like taking a bath without, that's just like putting on clothes without taking a bath because you're not allowing yourself to cleanse. You're not allowing yourself to, to, to really get over your hurt, cry, play some sad songs. That's what I did. I played, uh, uh, well, I think Burn was out at the time. I played it about 2,000 times. You can ask my neighbor. I mean, I, I, I was allowing myself to heal, but then I was still wanted, wanting to be with someone. So in short, because I said I was going to keep y'all brief, is there love in rebound, uh, re rebound relationships? I strongly don't think so. Uh, some suggestions, as I mentioned, allow yourself a time to heal. Deal with your your faults. Uh, build yourself up. Know you, you know what I'm saying, and be the at least the best you that you can be. So whenever you go into that next relationship, you're going to be straight. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna know how know what to look for because those are those are some other situations that you may not be able to uh, uh, to, to know by what you know what, what this person's all about what what to look for you know what I'm saying so there's various signs that you need to look for when you get into the, the relationship so words of the wise take it from Ant you know say because I ain't gonna steer you wrong because I'm gonna give you some of my opinions about what I've been through or, or, or what I think. Just take time to chill. Take time to know her. And that means take time to know yourself. Get out these, don't do these rebound relationships. Get out of them. Don't do them. If you're in one, all they're going to do is use you, especially if you are vulnerable. So with that being said, I want to thank you for subscribing to Third Eye Visions. Again, I'm going to open up your mind. It's not all about being blind. It's not all about the, 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 the topics of blindness because I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hit you with the hot tracks. You know what I'm talking about? Peace.